Cyberpunk. Ascending into a God Introduction. www.jiaoshuyuan.com Su Xian came to the world of Cyberpunk, bringing a console and a complete set of mods invincible. He found that he seemed to have brought a God simulator to become a God in this terrible world. This seems very interesting https forward slash forward slash www.zayashuan.com Chapter 1 Selling Money for Life You are listening at novelfull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, the bustling streets are filled with colorful advertisements, and even in broad daylight, People's eyes are mostly occupied by advertisements, making the darkness under the sewer seem so inconspicuous in comparison. A corner under the overpass is being surrounded by several police cars, with officers holding small pistols and trembling as they confront the heinous criminals through the cars. Hand over the hostages, you are already surrounded, surrendering early is your best choice. A police officer held down the loudspeaker, urging the criminals inside to surrender while frantically seeking help from the bureau. In just three minutes, a heavy firepower unit can come over, and he doesn't have to face these crazy people anymore. He only costs 5,000 yuan a month, what's the point of playing with his life? Crouching behind the bulletproof car door, John put away his exposed feet and silently prayed to God for the innocent citizens inside. As for asking him to rush out and kill the hostages in all directions first, what international joke is he making? Isn't it good to be alive? Only the lunatics of the terror mobile squad would expect to fight against those crazy shapeshifters. Who knows when their second dot hand righteous bodies will explode with a bang, or ignite their minds and start going crazy. But in fact, he doesn't have many expectations, after all, those crazy people don't even consider the police, otherwise how could they confront the police on the street? Usually, on the way, they would choose to take down the hostages and either flee or be overwhelmed by reinforcements arriving. Of course, there is occasionally a third option, which is for these lunatics to cover the eyes of police officers or even hire with money after being caught, and then happily go back to their respective homes to find their mothers. However, today is obviously not an ordinary day. The clouds blocking the sunlight in the sky are quietly hiding aside at some point, and the bright sunlight shines directly down. After passing through an area, it suddenly fades, as if it has been sucked away by something. The Judgment of the Bright Sun A young man with a naked upper body was pressed to the ground in the encirclement, quietly drawing a sun pattern with ashes on the ground. Then, white light wriggled into the pattern from his fingertips. The hypocritical trial has begun, another useless confession. Horn is very high at the moment, very high. He felt extremely cool. Look at those notes, not a single one dared to stand up and stare at him. Hone was hiding behind those few small cars as a shrunken turtle. Woohoo after cheering, Horn shot the hood of the police car, and the splashing sparks reminded him of his past, why? Why am I so bad? I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry. Horn hugged his head in guilt and burst into tears. Tears in his tear glands touched the wires inside his electronic eye, causing his red eyes to flicker and appear to be short-circuited. Several of his accomplices were the same, even the hostages on the ground, except for the naked young man, began to cry bitterly and repent of their crimes. The most outrageous of them was stealing the old lady's underwear and taking a plane, and after finishing, they were washed clean and sent back. It can only be said that he deserves it, the fighter jet among the scumbags. The police officers outside are also confused about this, after all, they have never encountered a criminal who gave up resistance and began to repent during a confrontation. Has God appeared? Regardless of whether it's God or not, John knows that the opportunity to make contributions has come. When John gritted his teeth, put away his gun, and slammed the hood with his palms while his colleagues were still hesitating about what to do. With the help of force, he leaped over the police car blocking the way and landed with another swoop, knocking down the front horn to the ground. A specially designed electric shock was pressed against the back of Horn's head, causing his electronic devices to malfunction and handcuffed him. 
With a click, a photo of John bravely capturing the criminal leader alone was captured on the newly arrived recorder. The criminals were arrested, and the police gradually evacuated, as for the hostages on the ground. If you can still get up, leave on your own, and if you can't get up, wait for the finishing medical staff to handle it. When it comes to medical care, it's actually a corpse collector. If you really need rescue, you should buy members of the International Trauma Group. This way, they will drive a floating car and quickly pull you to the best central hospital with the best medical resources. Along the way, they will violently twist the heads of all obstacles. What? You don't have the money to buy a membership. What are you waiting for? The scavenger will pick up your body, process your natural limbs into protein sticks, and use mechanical prosthetics to pick and sell the usable ones as second dot hand. The unusable ones will be used as materials or thrown into the garbage dump. Su Xianxiang propped herself up and opened her eyes again. What caught her eye was the sharp edge of the surgical knife. Although she didn't know what she wanted to do, it was clearly not to save herself. Help. Help me. The desire for survival once again forced Su Xian to extract a trace of strength from his tattered body. After flipping his palm, a piece of ancient gold coin with intricate patterns appeared, shining brightly symbolizing wealth and status. Gold coins. Due to being too anxious and bowing down, a strand of red hair fell out of the protective mask and landed on Su Xian's palm. Help me, money, a lot. After speaking, Lin Ran fainted again. Gloria, what are you fooling around about? You found the baby. The medical staff named Gloria took a few steps back to block the view of the incoming person. No, I'm just curious that this person looks pretty, why hasn't there been any modification? Ha, the poorest poor guy. Looking for a book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com, the most essential thing in the night city is beauty. You're unlucky. You can't get any money today, why don't I exchange it with you? No need, if we switch, will you still have money to pay rent this month? Indeed, then I'm not polite. Hee <laughs> hee, the one I received has changed quite a bit. The corner of Gloria's mouth twitched under her mask, supporting her to leave and quickly prying open Su Xian's palm to collect the gold coins. Two hundred thousand. Why don't you go grab it? The woman's screams and angry rebukes rang out from the back door of the hospital, where a red-haired woman and a fat doctor wearing a white coat were present. Hello, hello, please keep your voice down. What do you want to do? The doctor said in dissatisfaction. But you're obviously extorting, he's just a bit weak. Maybe getting injected with nutrient solution would be enough. You want 200,000 yuan for such a simple matter. Gloria looked at the doctor angrily, this guy clearly regarded himself as a scapegoat. Extortion, what you said is too unpleasant. Do you know how special that guy's physique is? It took half an hour just to match him, and this specially made medical product costs less than 200,000 yuan. By the way, Gloria, did you pick up this guy? If that's the case, we can. The doctor raised his eyebrows, hinting at Gloria. Don't even think about it, he's not dead yet. Gloria interrupted the doctor with a cold face and then took Su Xian back. Unable to cure, goodbye. Little knowledge. In 2076, human bodies were generally partially mechanized, which led to a high probability of being dismantled and sold when sick and seeking medical treatment in anarchic areas. Therefore, Please try to have a familiar doctor friend. Chapter 2 The Troubles of Young People You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, David is 18 years old this year and still in school. He should have been carefree and indulged in his youth. But when he came home after school today, he was frowning. He found that his mother had brought back a man. This discovery made David worried about whether he would have an extra stepfather. To be fair, it's not easy for a mother to pull herself so big alone. 
whether she finds a man to share the pressure or vent her emotions, she has no right to point fingers. But there's no buffer at all. Suddenly bringing a stranger back home, how should I face him? How to address it? Uncle. Sir. Gloria is currently taking a shower and has not yet realized that David has returned. Overwork has caused her to forget the time and miss David's school break. However, soon David realized that he seemed to have misunderstood. The man was seriously injured, his breath was weak, and even a slight touch could reveal how cold and frightening he was. What shocked David the most was that this person is all native, with no traces of modification, and not even a brain computer installed. It should be noted that in this era, people who have not undergone any transformation are as rare as the serious teaching courses on color websites. The only person David remembers who hasn't been modified throughout his body is the one he has seen on TV, the helmsman of the Arazaka group, Arazaka Mitsuro, who has lived for over 200 years. He is the person at the top of the pyramid that a person like David would never touch in his lifetime. David couldn't imagine how a person who didn't even have a brain could survive, except for this kind of celestial star person who didn't even have to open his mouth to eat. You know, many places no longer accept cash, and without a brain, money can't be spent. Thinking of this, David became nervous and didn't know how his mother got involved with such people. He will die very miserably. However, in no time, David began to think towards the positive side. Amidst the boy's wandering thoughts, Su Xian slowly opened his eyes. Uh, why is it so tight? Su Xian tugged at his collar and unbuttoned a button on his shirt, only to realize that he was not wearing the original clothes, but a brown shirt. The shirt was clearly a bit small, and wearing it on Lin Ran looked like a tight-fitting suit, revealing his well-dot-proportioned figure. Su Xian propped his elbow on the sofa to support himself, but his weak body did not support him in doing so. With a weak arm, Su Xian almost fell off the sofa. Fortunately, David helped him in time, which prevented Su Xian's face from making intimate contact with the ground. Thank you. Although the young man's hairstyle was somewhat unconventional, he was still quite nice. After politely thanking him, Su Xian asked a question from the bottom of his heart. Excuse me, where is this? Su Xian remembered that he was studying some ancient spells, but suddenly he suddenly appeared in a street melee. If I remember correctly, he seemed to have activated a sacrificial magic formation. David also confirmed his guess about Su Xian's question and became nervous. Sure enough, a big shot was ambushed in a battle at the top and then picked up by a beautiful woman from the bottom. What's next? His opponent chased after us after discovering clues, and then we were kidnapped. He remembered his past memories, counterattacked all the way, and finally retrieved everything from him. Hello. The young man in front of him fell into a state of stagnation when faced with such a simple question, which made Su Xian somewhat puzzled. Why, is this a very profound question? Reaching out his hand and waving in front of the young man, David finally regained his senses from the exciting inner play. Oh, this is my home. David cautiously replied, appearing as if Su Xian was the owner of this place. Su Xian nodded and remembered that he had bribed the medical staff. Fortunately, the young lady had complied with the contract and did not break him down one by one and hang him on the hook. Taking a deep breath, the lost strength gradually returned, not much, but temporarily sufficient. Lying on the sofa, Su Xian asked her own question again. I'm not asking this, but here, which region is it? Valley area. A little larger. Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. I have a slight impression, it's a bit larger. Night City. Night City. Do you say this is Night City? Yes, the city of the night. Oh, my God. Su Xian covered his face, somewhat incredulous. The magic array took him across more than 13,000 kilometers and arrived at the night city. No wonder I was so weak. The long-dot-distance teleportation almost drained my strength. 
I shook hands and looked at the faint fluorescence on my fingertips. It seemed that I could only maintain a mechanical state to ensure safety during this period. Drop, I don't know if it's an illusion, but David seemed to hear a beep in his ear when this gentleman heard the words, City of Night. Later, when Su Xian put down his hand, David saw the same obvious pattern of brain-machine modification on his face as himself. For some reason, while seeing the patterns on Su Xian's face, David's heart suddenly contracted and his pupils unconsciously enlarged. This is a warning from genes to the top predators in the lower life. Extremely dangerous. Life is so magical, he always has such a keen insight into crises. Su Xian was quietly pondering the arrangements below, whether to hurry back or stay and play for a while, while David, due to his keen intuition, dared not talk to Su Xian again. At this moment, Gloria in the bathroom finally washed up and walked out wrapped in a towel, looking at Su Xian sitting on the sofa. Because Gloria's towel was rolled up from her armpit, causing her thin shoulders and two half-round breasts. Normally, it didn't matter if David was around, but now it was seen by Su Xian, a stranger. This made Gloria's conservative face suddenly turn red, and she took a few steps back to the bathroom. After tightly closing the door, Gloria shouted inside, David, help me bring my clothes in. Oh, oh, okay. After giving Su Xian a careful glance, David ran into the room and handed Gloria a short-sleeved shirt and jeans. Quickly, Gloria, who was dressed, walked out with a flushed face and exclaimed in surprise when she saw Su Xian. She clearly remembers that Su Xian didn't have any modifications on his body, but now why are there suddenly patterns of brain-computer modifications? Don't explore other people's secrets, it can be very dangerous. Gloria was well aware of the proverb that curiosity kills cats, so she asked another question. Sir, can you leave now? Tip. Don't bring strangers to your house casually, as unexpected things may happen. Chapter 3. Night Tour. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, ah. Are you driving me away so soon? Su Xian opened his mouth in surprise and exclaimed, his gaze at Gloria as if he were looking at some heartless heartless man. There is a story. David's tiger body shook and he realized the unusual relationship between the two. Is this his mother's old lover? That's right, mom is already in her thirties. In the night city, as long as you look at her right eye, someone you haven't met in the past second can roll onto a bedsheet in the next second. Women at mom's age have already been beheaded by at least a hundred people, but mom is still conservative like women from the old era. David. Gloria's gaze turned to David, who wanted to hear the story. Her smooth forehead wrinkled with a few wrinkles, making her appear somewhat rigid and stern. Get out. David, who was originally enthusiastic, suddenly looked like a frosted eggplant. He knew that when his mother frowned, it meant it was best to be obedient, otherwise she would be angry. David, who had wilted, put on a coat and left the room swaying, leaving only Su Xian and Gloria in the room. Light a low-dot-quality cigarette, take a deep breath, and then exhale a wisp of smoke. The white smoke envelopes Gloria's face like a mask, like a protective shell, protecting this seemingly strong but fragile woman. You're already well, I kept my promise and saved you. Now, it's time for you to leave my house. I know I know. Su Xian said with a playful smile, it's just so late now, and I just recovered. Can't you leave me to rest for the night? It has to be said that appearance is justice, and Su Xian, who has a delicate appearance, still has a strong impulse to agree to his pretended pitiful posture. However, Gloria is already thirty-five years old. She is not a little girl anymore. Although the development of technology has made her appearance still young, years of wind and frost have made her heart as hard as steel. No way. I don't have any extra rooms for you at home. I can sleep on the sofa, and I pay rent. Speaking, Su Xian blinked at Gloria and 50,000 euros were transmitted over the internet. 
five, fifty thousand. The numbers in the virtual world shocked Gloria for a moment, leaving her speechless. Although she realized Su Xian's identity was not simple after the ancient gold coin was estimated to be worth twenty thousand, she did not expect him to be so indifferent to money, casually earning fifty thousand euros. This is fifty thousand euros. David can be equipped with the latest learning equipment, and the money he has is enough for them to live comfortably for a year. He can even move out of the valley and rent a better house Gloria's mind was stirred up by this 50,000 euros, and her gaze at Su Xian couldn't help but become pleasing. Actually, staying for a few days or something is not something that cannot be discussed, you stay in that room, I'll have David tidy it up later. Good Su Xian and Gloria made an okay gesture and then thought of something. Continuing, by the way, is that gold coin still there? If it is, I can buy it back. No, it's already sold. Gloria lied. She wanted to keep that ancient gold coin, for some reason, she just wanted to keep it. Okay. Su Xian shrugged casually. If there were some, it would be best, but if not, it would be fine. The two of them chatted for a while without any nutrition, and when David came back, it happened to be dinner. Of course, when they said it was dinner, it was actually just one egg white stick per person. Gloria and David were actually very happy eating. Gloria was happy because she could have more money in her future life, while David was happy because Su Xian willingly gave up his room and transferred him some pocket money. She was originally planning to transfer 5,000 yuan, but accidentally pressed an extra zero. Su Xian said it didn't matter, money was just a string of numbers for him. Playing with the protein stick on his hand, Lin Ran had no appetite. Of course, his overall body transformation rate is now over 98%, making it difficult for him to have the human hormone sensation of appetite. For products like protein bars, Su Xian has always been very cautious. This type of food is almost linked to cockroaches and human debris. Of course, in terms of external promotion, earthworms are more cost-effective than cockroaches. However, Su Xian is self-centered and has no doubt that someone will secretly add small snacks and cockroaches to it for the sake of bad taste. Returning to the room, he casually pulled out the chow mang from the bed and put it away, then Su Xian stood up. A few hours later, Su Xian casually turned off his dream and began to ponder the meaning of life and whether experiencing stimulation too early in adolescence would lead to a decline in abilities. After lying down for a while, Su Xian got up and pushed the door open, ready to go out and explore for some excitement. Then he saw David lying on the sofa, lost in thought. Yo, you haven't slept either. Do you want to go out and hang out together? After saying hello, Su Xian warmly extended an invitation to David. After the evaluation just now, he had a deep recognition of David's taste, and like dot minded companions were always very friendly. ZhaoZhuyuan.com Although David didn't understand why Su Xian suddenly had such a good attitude towards him, he also had a good impression of this god of wealth. After all, who could refuse wealth? Immediately agreed, and then the two of them went on a night trip together. It's already late at night, but the streets are still brightly lit, even brighter than during the day. The night city at night belongs to sin and debauchery. If you don't have the ability, don't wander around to avoid being cut off and thrown into the garbage dump. Everywhere were speeding cars and motorcycles, as well as small thugs with colorful hair dyed. In the past, Gloria never allowed David to take risks at night, but today she was blinded by the unexpected wealth and didn't notice that Su Xian had quietly abducted her precious son. With a wave of his hand, a Gudra Avengers automatic cruise appeared in front of Su Xian, with a knife-like path that revealed a strong masculine aura. The bright silver color scheme and its maximum speed of 210 miles per hour made it easy to become a lightning bolt in the dark. Wow, cool. David was amazed as he looked at the sports car next to Su Xian. Although he didn't know about sports cars, he could easily see the luxury of this car. After all, cheap goods couldn't show off this impressive momentum. Hmph. 
The simple and unadorned admiration of the young man made Su Xian proudly pat the front of the car, and a man's pride is often in an instant. Get in the car. Little knowledge. In 2076, the average life expectancy of humans has reached 150 years, and the longest living person can even reach 300 years old. Chaomeng is another epoch-making invention of humanity in 2060. It can allow viewers to experience 200% of the playback content. In Chaomeng, the five senses are amplified to the extreme, and the transmission of nerves makes the experience brought by Chaomeng far beyond reality. Chapter 4 Cyberpunk You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, on the late night streets, a violent race car is fiercely opening. The buzzing of the engine spread from the end of the street to the street, as the dark green sports car and Su Xian advanced side by side and continued to accelerate. David grabbed his seat belt in his hand, feeling the wind blowing fiercely past his ear. He saw two cars closely attached to each other that could collide at any moment, and the violent factor in his blood was also faintly reviving. Oh roar! Su Xian let out an excited roar and then stepped on the gas pedal. In the blink of an eye, he overtook the dark green sports car, provocatively flashing the headlights before flying away. After evacuating and getting rid of the overestimated guy, Su Xian slowed down and began to enjoy the sea view. He didn't know where he had gone, but he had to accelerate, overtake, and run red lights. The people here are very enthusiastic, and every time Su Xian passes a car, he can catch a middle finger or a beautiful foreign word flying out of the window. With one hand resting on the car window, Su Xian felt the free air blowing in from outside. He turned around and asked David, is there any place he wants to go, little brother? A uh, bar. David has not been to a bar yet. Firstly, Gloria is strict in his management and does not allow him to come into contact with these things. Secondly, he is really stingy. Now that he has money and leisure, he must quickly experience what he has never done before. Okay, target. Bar. In the end, the two of them didn't go to the bar because it was in the gap between Su Xian's deceleration, and the guy behind him caught up again, and this time it's not about speed, it's about firepower. Green Kill Matt opened the convertible and rushed to the side of Su Xian's car, grinning harshly. Sayunala. Bullets shot out from the muzzle accompanied by flames and smoke. Su Xian promptly closed the car window, and the modified special glass firmly guarded the two passengers. The pitiful bullets were shot away like gum, leaving no white spots. Upon seeing this, the green-haired killer let out another ghostly cry, leaving one hand out of the car and disintegrating into a huge praying mantis knife. The tip of the knife hooked onto the edge of Su Xian's car window and pounded wildly. Watching the huge blade reveal its sharpness in a close proximity, David looked nervously at Su Xian, only to see him calmly chewing gum. The fresh mint flavor emanated from his mouth, which also made David's tense brain clearer. Kid, dare you shoot? Su Xian turned his head to David and immediately threw a semi-dot-automatic pistol at him after nodding. David didn't see where he had taken it from, it was as if he had taken it out of the void. When I say, shoot, later, you shoot, understand. Understood. Although it was just an ordinary conversation, David felt like his brain was about to explode. Before dark, he was still a good student, at most occasionally selling illegal black super dreams, but now he is sitting in a speeding sports car, holding a gun and preparing to hit someone in the head. After the conversation ended, Su Xian didn't care if David was ready. He first increased the speed, opened the car window to prevent the guy from losing confidence. After giving him a middle finger, he kicked the accelerator and roared away. Looking at the guy chasing after him at lightning speed in the rearview mirror, Su Xian sneered and said to David, don't worry, take him for a walk first. Su Xian always maintains a distance of three or four meters ahead of that guy while driving, and sometimes deliberately slows down a bit. When he is about to catch up, 
he quickly widens the distance again in the blink of an eye. The guy behind was almost furious. After shooting all the bullets, he crazily stepped on the gas pedal to chase after him. Finally, Su Xian had enough fun. He slowed down and waited for the guy to lift the mantis sword up again. With a fierce collision, his mechanical arm broke. Shoot! After clearing the danger, Su Xian opened the car window and suddenly issued a command. At the same time, there was data flowing in his eyes. If David didn't hit, he would have burned that guy's brain. After all, after losing interest, it would be better for this troublesome guy to die. Ha 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 ha, after taking a deep breath and gripping the gun, David's gaze became focused, as if everything had slowed down in his sight. He saw a spark sprouting from the broken shoulder of the green-haired killer, he saw the wheels bouncing up at high speed, he saw a head parallel to the muzzle. One shot ends, only one shot is needed. Specially crafted bullets pierce through the subcutaneous armor in an unparalleled manner, penetrating his semi-mechanical brain, destroying everything and then drilling out from the other end, leaving only a hole. The uncontrollable vehicle exploded after colliding with the roadside guardrail, while the vehicle carrying Su Xian and his companions left the flames of the explosion far behind, marking the end of a wonderful drama. Yo, there seems to be an outdoor bar over there. Su Xian drifted and parked the car on the roadside, pulling David and walking straight over. Wait a minute, the situation over there doesn't seem to be quite right. Hi, it's rare to see anything strange, and there's also someone with a grenade on their head. You can't discriminate against them just because they're strange. Find Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com Su Xian pulled David towards the bar, feeling a bit excited and ignoring David's resistance. David, who was dragged over, had no choice but to closely follow Su Xian, looking around unfamilingly. A strange person with arms over two meters long, a tall and strong man like a bear, and a green-haired little lowly holding a wine bottle. Except for the little girl, everyone here has obvious signs of transformation on their bodies, and it is for combat purposes. Is this cyberpunk? David looked around and murmured to himself. Yo, look, there are two new people here, and one seems to be native. David's naive speech immediately sparked a burst of laughter. Obviously, this bar is similar to a membership system, and Su Xian and David, two different types, seem out of place. For newcomers, it has always been easy to be targeted. For example, at this moment, a big man covered in mane extends his palm to try out the quality of David, this little guy. Su Xian didn't even glance at this and pulled David straight to the bar. As for the big man, he stiffened in place until his companion knocked him to the ground before waking up from his paralysis. He didn't continue to cause trouble. After looking at Su Xian with fear, the big man pulled his companion and turned around to leave, kicking the iron plate. He slipped away early and didn't feel uncomfortable. Arriving at the bar, Su Xian greeted the bartender and said, Let's have a glass of sweet wine. Turning around and looking at David, what would you like? David hesitated, he had only drunk beer and didn't know what to order. Little knowledge. Cyberpunk refers to a person who, similar to a bounty hunter, significantly modifies and installs mechanical prostheses in order to complete a commission. Because they often wander in gray areas, they are also known as edge people. Chapter 5 Adolescence You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, give him a sweet wine too, thank you. After the black-haired man in front of him poured a glass of wine for each of them, David was sent away by Su Xian to play on his own. The two strangers were quite eye-dot catching here, and everyone had been paying attention to them since they just entered. With Su Xian's just leaked hand, no one dared to touch David. A guy full of righteous bodies would never be willing to provoke a hacker who could burn their brains at any time unless necessary. After finishing the sweet wine in his glass in one gulp, the bartender wiped his hand and looked up at Su Xian, his lazy gaze quietly adding a touch of enthusiasm. 
the bartender couldn't help but smile at the corner of his mouth and said at the same time. You. I'll give you more tips, I want you to pick up something. Su Xian leaned against the bar and pushed the glass forward, gesturing to add more wine. After refilling Su Xian's cup, the bartender looked up and asked. What would you like to wear? It's too expensive to wear. It's nothing, I just want a few intermediaries' phone numbers. I just arrived, so I can find someone to do something. Falco pressed his head, and then Su Xian received a friend request, which he deliberately set up to prevent anyone from calling and harassing him. After passing the application, Falco, who had a silhouette of a man's profile, sent Lin ran three intermediary phone numbers and information, as well as a mercenary team that he personally recommended to Su Xian. After seeing Falco's recommendation of carrying private goods, Su Xian looked up and exchanged a meaningful smile with him. Picking up the wine glass, Su Xian turned around to find David, wanting to see what this kid was doing, only to find him hiding behind eavesdropping on someone else's boasting. At that time, I just reached my hand through the window, grabbed his gun, and then suddenly. The man with a long arm held a bottle of champagne in his hand and made a flying gesture, causing everyone to burst into laughter, while David listened attentively from behind. Hi, what are you doing? Su Xian appeared from behind David and deliberately patted him on the shoulder, causing someone who was eavesdropping to tremble and causing everyone to burst into laughter. This also made David realize that his disguise had already been seen through, and his face immediately turned red with embarrassment. It's getting late, I'll take you home first. Ah. David's face was full of unwillingness. Previously, he could only see cyberpunk in his dreams, but now it was alive in front of him. He was thrilled enough, but he didn't expect to go home soon. He suddenly stretched his tone like a child who hadn't played enough. Lin Ran smiled at this. For a wife, understanding her children is a huge bonus, but you just need to let her know that you have a good relationship with her children. You must not let her know that you are taking her children out to hang out. No, child, you should go to bed now. You still have to go to school tomorrow. And you don't want your mother to find out you're here, do you? Su Xian looked at David jokingly. He wanted to argue a few steps, but after hearing about his mother, the family finally hung down its head like a defeated rooster, got on the bus and left with Su Xian. This was the case with adolescent children. They were either rebellious or afraid that their mother would die. David is the kind of person who can't bear to see his mother and feels a little sad. Whenever Gloria sheds tears, he panics to death and can agree to any condition. Whenever he thinks about how sad his mother would be if she knew he was out to hang out, David wants to fly home and lie on the sofa pretending to sleep all night. When they left, everyone in the bar began to discuss. It was not surprising that Su Xian appeared here, but when he came to the cocktail party with a child and didn't let him get involved in anything in the end, it was rare. No, it wasn't rare, it wasn't even rare. Falco, where did that guy come from? A customer who came to add wine seemed to unintentionally talk to the bartender, and Falco smiled and replied. Big boss. After taking David home, Su Bai turned around and returned to the bar, but this time it was not for entertainment. His gaze was clear as he walked towards the two of the bulliest figures. Seeing Su Bai approaching, the other person's gaze also fell on Su Bai. Su Bai walked over and leaned against a pole, saying, I have a business deal, will I take it or not? The strong man looked at Su Bai and pinched his huge mechanical palm, saying, My price is not cheap, and besides, we are a team. As he spoke, he lifted his chin to signal that there were still a few people in the distance. I know, money is a small issue, as long as you can satisfy me, the price is up to you. Seeing Su Bai's attitude of not being short of money, the strong man immediately smiled happily. Although he didn't like dog tycoons, it meant that he didn't want his boss to be a dog tycoon. If this dog tycoon gave money happily, it would be the wealthy father. Su Bai first transferred 100,000 yuan to the other party. When the other party checked the amount, he spoke up and said, 
this is the deposit. I will arrange a small commission to test your condition. After the final payment is completed, there is still 200,000 yuan left. I will inform you of the details later tonight. After adding man as a friend, Su Bai left the bar and found a tall building. With just a few breaths, Su Bai jumped four or five meters on the wall and climbed over 200 meters to reach the top of the building. Sucking in the cold air from high above, Su Bai felt a clear light in the Ling Tai. The buildings in the night city were so high that he couldn't see the sky clearly, or rather, in this damn era, everything was the same. Steel was rooted in human flesh and blood, and the stimulation of the connecting nerves made everything lose its novelty. Everywhere were tall buildings made of concrete and steel bars, and chemical waste gases blocked the sky. Electronic screens replaced them only by looking at the stars in the sky at the top of a tall building can Su Bai feel like she has escaped from this steel jungle. This era is too lazy, except for the top dot level humans who are still pursuing eternal life and eternal rule, everyone else has no idea of looking up. It shouldn't be like this. It can't be like this either. Su Bai felt that this world was too hopeless. He had a crazy plan to restart everything. Half of the plan has passed, and there are still two years left. This corrupt world will come to an end, and he will become the creator and pioneer of the new century. Putting aside his suddenly rising thoughts, Su Bai began to invade the internet. He came to the rooftop because he felt that the internet here was better and there was less signal interference from higher floors. In the intrusion information, Su Bai randomly selected a small logistics company called Biseris. The company's main business unit transports precious animals from outside the bad soil to the night city. Three days later, a cat will be sent into the city. That's it after the decision was made, Su Bai sent the information to man, with the goal of delivering the cat intact to Su Bai's hands. Little knowledge. Evil soil, which is about 90 square kilometers of land outside the city of Night City, is scattered with minefields and homeless people who have left the city. After World War III, the world has produced a large area of land similar to evil soil that cannot be cultivated and used. However, the living area of humans has not decreased because the population has also decreased significantly. Lu. Chapter 6 Golden Carp and Cyber Madman you are listening at novel full dot audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, damn it, now I should be celebrating my daughter's 18th birthday at home instead of fighting the fire in the rain, NCPD officer complained softly, while the person next to him sneered with a disdainful pout. Oh, is Penny's birthday today? I hope you can give her a satisfactory explanation when you go back, or you will be in trouble. Ha huh, finally done. If that damn fat pig makes me work overtime again, I'll stuff a grenade into his anus. Ha, huh, you have a lot of resentment. Otherwise. The old man is about to retire and has no political achievements, so he is frantically tinkering with us, hoping to have a few more reports on good public security on his resume to extend his term. After finishing his overtime, Charles took his partner home and hummed a light tune before heading to the company square in the city center. Today was his daughter's birthday, and he saved up two months to buy a fruit cake with all natural ingredients to celebrate her adulthood. Since the outbreak of World War III, cultivated land around the world has been extensively polluted, and except for the Russia and Soviet Union, the prices of organic food in other places have risen to the sky. Normally, as someone like him, he can't afford to buy organic food. Fortunately, there are ways for ordinary people to do so. He has relaxed some control measures in his jurisdiction, so that the gangs can make more profit. When they get fat, they will also accidentally lose some things, such as using vouchers from all natural ingredient bakeries. Stopping the police car randomly on the roadside, Charles looked at the map and looked towards the pedestrian overpass, completely unaware that the police car radio behind him was sending instructions. There has been a riot in the wild plate tower. Please ask nearby police officers to investigate. Repeat, there has been a riot in the wild plate tower, 
majestic figure stood under the barren tower, staring blankly at two huge virtual goldfish, one blue and one red. Behind him were scattered corpses and scrapped police cars. Blood flowed from the corpses and converged into small tributaries, eventually converging into a pool of blood. Pedestrians were screaming and fleeing in all directions, and some even panicked and jumped off the road over ten meters high. However, it seemed like protective gear had been installed, and when they fell down, their hands and feet were still convulsing, making them appear to be unable to die temporarily. A police officer is hiding in a garbage dump, desperately drilling into the garbage in the hope of not being discovered. Dispatch, dispatch, support, we need support. Many people have died, and we are no match at all. Received, support has arrived. Junior police officers, please evacuate the danger zone immediately the police officer hiding in the garbage dump took a deep breath and saw that the guy was still staring at the goldfish. He quietly crawled out of the garbage dump and saw a companion squatting and slowly evacuating. 8 meters. 6 meters. 4 meters. It's almost here, as long as it passes the corner of the wall, it's safe. His newly installed prosthetic eye can even see the smile on the young man's lips, and then his smile suddenly disappears. On the upper level of the road, some unethical person threw a can and hit the head of the guy who had gone crazy due to having too many righteous bodies. As the head turned around, the visual system automatically locked in the two unlucky people. Finally, two micro-missiles spun out of the magazine and exploded at the moment of contact with the enemy. The splashing flames greedily licked the shattered flesh and steel, and when the flames and smoke disappeared, only the black painted ground and a little bit of metal remained. The tense siren sounded, and more than ten specially made police armored vehicles instantly blocked the streets. However, this time no police officers got off the car, and the roof of the armored vehicle opened, revealing heavy machine guns and, to a greater extent, a 50-centimeter caliber rocket launcher. The guy who installs this caliber rocket launcher on a small armored vehicle in a city is definitely a complete lunatic, and the guy who dares to drive it out and use it is even more crazy. If a hacker detonates this vehicle now, the entire street will be destroyed. Fortunately, he did not have a chance to fire at the moment, as at some point a figure had already appeared next to the insane Lieutenant James. After scanning the character information interface, the Golden Senior Inspector words reminded the NCPD officers that the situation had been brought under control, and they just needed to wait for the end. Su Xian hugged James's shoulder affectionately, like an old friend he had known for a long time. However, because this guy was too tall, he seemed to be hanging from each other, but if someone saw them directly, they would find that the situation was not like this. Su Xian's fingers were like a drill bit, roughly breaking open James's closed brain computer interface. After connecting, he began to crack data. Although this poor guy had confidentiality agreements, Su Xian's technical skills stood out as a powerful brick, with a large amount of data continuously and indiscriminately impacting various information storage locations. If James's brain protection method is to use ingenious techniques to put information into a box, and anyone who wants to violently dismantle it will destroy the mechanism inside, then Su Xian's method is to directly dismantle the mechanism together, without caring about whether the content inside is intact. Instead, he takes away the remaining information, and without him, he is not at a loss. Su Xian's movements were quick, and the invasion of Xuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com had already ended in just over 10 seconds. However, our poor James clearly did not think so. The pain editor he installed had already overloaded and malfunctioned in the third second, and then the intense pain swept through his entire body. The intense pain even relieved his cybermania. James, who had regained his consciousness, only saw a vast expanse of white in front of him. The terrifying intracranial high temperature caused all his organs to begin to malfunction, and he felt his soul breaking away from this cumbersome body. What is life? What is death again? Is human will dominated by the soul or by hormones? If it's driven by the soul, why can the inhibitors I used before slow down my mental problems? 
If it's controlled by hormones, why can I feel nothing now but still think? So. The body is the container of the soul, and the soul is shaped by the shape of the body. Only by shedding the body shell can one obtain true free will. Suddenly, a profound and profound realization emerged in James's heart, his mind becoming increasingly clear. He saw the truth and was not confined by the mortal world. Su Xian on the side disconnected the interface and casually threw James aside. He glanced at him and was surprised to see that he was still alive. He thought this guy's brain was too hot to work, but probably his brain had evaporated and he didn't die. For a moment, Su Xian was a bit surprised, but he didn't want to worry. He estimated that someone with military technology was coming soon. After activating the optical camouflage, he took off and ran on the wall of the Arizaka Pagoda for a while before jumping onto the road above. An unmanned motorcycle arrived just in time, and Su Xian Yang rode away. Little Knowledge Cyber psychiatric disorder is a mental illness caused by the connection between prostheses and nerves, and the inability of nerves to bear the burden of installing too many prostheses. Currently, there are few successful cases of cure. Chapter 7 Robbery of the Tao. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, in a dessert shop, Su Xian is leisurely enjoying his afternoon tea, two caramel honey cakes, and a cup of sweetened iced black tea. The abundant sugar supplement and iced drinks make him happy. Of course, the price is also beautiful, 3,800 euros, which is enough for an ordinary family's monthly living expenses. Su Xian sat by the window, where he could see the nearby road through the hollowed-out glass. Generally, this position would only look good with colored lights at night, but Su Xian didn't sit here to enjoy the scenery. But rather to see how man and his team are doing things, and if they can satisfy him, hire them to do things for him. He can plan for the future for the sake of big things, but he can't always do everything on his own, which is too cheap. Therefore, Su Xian always receives whatever he goes. Although he can invade the city's cameras and monitor from afar without blind spots, he still prefers to stay in the corner and watch quietly, which gives him a feeling of being in control. At the same time, Su Xian began to organize the data he had snatched from James. Most of the confidential intelligence was destroyed, leaving only some combat data and experience. Su Xian felt that he could integrate it into a combat experience package, and then have a machine soul infusion and cyber transmission. Hey, man, is this really here? Why haven't you come yet? Rebecca was lying on the rooftop with a sniper rifle bigger than her, shouting into the communication. Don't worry, wait a moment. According to the information sent by the customer, their route will pass through here, and it is also the most suitable place for evacuation. Others should not relax their vigilance and strive to do it beautifully. Man replied to Rebecca while reminding others not to slack off. This is a big deal, and considering that in Su Xian's eyes, robbing the company's goods is just a small commission, how big should the big commission be to attack the Arizaka Tower? This is a joke. Man is not afraid of bigger challenges. On the contrary, he is very excited. A higher commission represents a higher reward, and he can switch to a higher level of righteousness. Since he has chosen the path of cyberpunk, he will not have to turn back. In the city of night, complete the most difficult task, achieve unbeatable results, and finally, bravely welcome death, so that the city will remember your name, and you will become a legend. And he also wants to become the new legend of Night City, even if this freedom, this glory means death. The bird in the cage also yearns to fly, and the frog at the bottom of the well yearns for the sky, let alone humans. Of course, he will consider his companions and push away tasks that are too dangerous. He is the leader of this team and cannot lead them to death, but in fact, that task was not risking his life. This is cyberpunk, there's no need to think they're cool, they're just a group of people with their heads pinned to their waist to make a living. As for the high risk and high return, just give up with one vote. That's okay, 
but are you sure you can pick yourself clean? Fish that have been submerged in water will smell fishy no matter how they are washed. Attention, the target appears. A shout in the communication caught several sharp gazes. At this moment, David is arguing with Gloria that he has once again been caught selling black super dreams. Mom, listen to me. The content inside is really legitimate, it's just that the manufacturer has some minor issues, but that doesn't mean the product is problematic. Gloria sneered, you treat me like a fool. Why can't regular models be included? David, I sent you to Arizaka Academy to study, not to be a film dealer selling black super dreams. Seeing this, David immediately blushed and shouted that something beyond his dream could not be considered a trafficker. If the commonly used models cannot be included, it indicates that they are not commonly used. However, this cannot be said that the content is not good in our youth, we were always like this, stubbornly clinging to a seemingly simple and boring problem, repeatedly struggling useless, just for an inexplicable obsession, burning a stick of incense. The dark flame was not about to go out, blowing away the floating dust on the surface, and you could see that it was still hot and shining. Just as the mother and son were arguing, a transport vehicle rushed up from the side, followed closely by a jeep. Opening the roof, the other three people on the jeep, except for the driver, shot wildly at the transport vehicle, while Gloria, who was sandwiched in the middle, remained calm and tried to slow down after a brief panic, trying to stop and escape the attack. But the strong man on the jeep couldn't help but see that the bullet shooting had no effect, and he crazily carried out a rocket launcher. The shell fired on the side of the transport vehicle, but when it went down, it did not break it, but it also overturned it to the ground. Unlike specially protected transport vehicles, Gloria's mother and son's car was simply overturned in the aftermath of a rocket and David smashed the glass while rolling, with only two legs pressed against the car. However, Gloria was not so lucky. In the driver's cab, she was firmly inverted and trapped inside, and David could only see blood flowing out. Mom, Mom, what's wrong with you? David shouted in a hoarse voice, although it was only a short distance, it seemed as if he was far away in the sky. He tried hard to stretch out his legs, but could only be weakly pressed under the car, shouting for help repeatedly, hoping for a savior to descend from the sky. There was no savior, but there were a few smoke bombs. The scattered smoke temporarily blocked this section of the road, and then David saw several figures weaving through the smoke, hazy and hazy, as if they were scattered with just a scratch. However, David did not dare to let go of the fleeting hope. Help us, please help us. I can give you money. I have money, 50,000 euros, no, 100,000 euros. Man paused for a moment, then ignored and continued to cut the back door of the transport vehicle. The escorts inside had already been hacked, while the hijackers had been knocked unconscious and taken under control. He had to take the blame later, as long as he took out the contents of the car and safely took them away. As for David's plea for help, he didn't have any extra sympathy for a bystander because his attention was focused on the transport vehicle, and coupled with his unfamiliarity, they didn't recognize David as the person who followed Su Xian that day. Fortunately, Su Xian recognized it. Take the two people in the pink car in the middle and be careful not to let them die. Su Xian's voice suddenly appeared on Man's team communication channel. Little knowledge. Arizaka Tower is the headquarters of Arizaka Group in Night City, and it is also an important pillar of Arizaka Group. Arizaka Group is a super company that started in the country of Higashiyama, but has been suppressed by the emperor locally in Higashiyama, so most of its main forces have shifted overseas. Chapter 8 I want you to become the king of the city. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, upon hearing Su Xian's voice in the team communication, man's face immediately turned ugly. When? Su Xian's voice proved that he had crossed the defense of two hackers in man's team and infiltrated their team's communication channel. If they were enemies, their actions would have been fully understood. 
Although Su Xian is not an enemy, this casual invasion behavior is also a great provocation. After all, your neighbor suddenly broke open your door without your consent and came in boldly asking you to stir-fry two dishes for him. It is difficult to say that this is a harmonious and friendly interaction. Of course Su Xian knows about this, but he also knows how to make the other party obedient, it's very simple. At the next moment, man's face softened, and even the corners of his mouth couldn't hold back. 400,000. The previously agreed final payment has doubled, just bringing two more people. What's the difference between this and going out to pick up money? He is not only not angry now, but even thinks that Su Xian's hacking skills are really superb. After cutting open the back of the transport vehicle, the cat inside was taken out. It was a stuffed cat, but the little one was quite hardy and was still playing with fur balls in the cage. Seeing this, man is also somewhat novel because of a past outbreak of zoonotic diseases. In order to save costs, the government decided to directly exterminate all animals, which resulted in very few animals in Night City. Only some wealthy people kept some pets, and they had to pay high taxes every year. Lifting the cage containing the cat, David and Gloria's mother and son behind him had already been rescued by Dorio. The burly Dorio tore the frame of the car apart, and then Pilar reached out his long arms to carefully lift Gloria out and inject a pneumatic syringe to temporarily save her life. As for David, this kid is fine. He just lifted the frame of the car that was pressing against him and got up. Retreat. With man's command, everyone evacuated according to the original planned route. As for David, he was picked up and taken away by Dorio because he walked slowly. Waiting for the smoke to dissipate, the previous hijacker also woke up in a daze. Seeing the transport vehicle being cut open behind him, he understood that this job had been intercepted by someone, and after cursing in secret, he hastily evacuated. Meow. Opening the cage, the little one immediately pounced on Su Xian's knee and kept licking the cat strips that Su Xian had opened in his hand. Touching the kitten's head, Su Xian hands over the work of feeding the cat to Rebecca who is looking at her eagerly. Seeing this, Duo Liu and Chi Wei can't help admiring the kitten. They can only say that no one can refuse the kitten. Even a tough guy like man can't help being drawn by the kitten. Only Lucy's eyes are indifferent, and the pink and black eye shadow is a pair of indifferent eyes. However, at this moment, David had no time to care about this rare stuffed cat. He was anxiously looking at Gloria lying in bed. He wanted to take Gloria to the hospital, but Man and others followed Su Xian's instructions and sent them to Su Xian's newly rented house in the valley area. David was anxious and helpless about this, but fortunately Gloria's breathing was stable after receiving a pneumatic injection, which prevented David from impulsively losing his sanity. Su Xian, what are you doing? You should take my mother to the hospital now. David helplessly shouted to Su Xian, Don't worry, Gloria will be fine. Come here. Su Xian walked to the balcony and opened a semi-transparent glass cabinet that looked like a refrigerator. This is the third dot-generation fully automatic therapeutic device he bought at a high price. It was originally intended for David to use, but now it is being used by Gloria first. Send her in. What is this? David asked in confusion, the price of this thing is not something he can access, and it will not appear in the advertisement because the general purpose of advertising is to dig out the pockets of the middle and lower layers. If it weren't for Su Xian sneaking into the system and changing his identity, there would be no channel to purchase this thing. Third generation treatment device, quickly put Gloria in, I need to put the treatment solution. David heard this and was about to send Gloria inside, but he was stopped by Su Xian. Wait a minute, take off your clothes, otherwise the treatment solution will be contaminated. Upon hearing this, David immediately looked embarrassed. What should he do? Seeing Su Xian looking at David with a shy expression, he realized that he was young and had never seen the world before. Let me help. Lucy took the initiative to help and pushed the men's screen back. 
Lucy quickly put Gloria's light into the treatment device, and Su Xian stepped forward to activate it. The light green therapeutic fluid poured down, enveloping Gloria, and the wound on her body healed at a visible speed to the naked eye. Seeing his mother slowly recovering from danger, David finally breathed a sigh of relief and turned to look at Su Xian, his eyes full of seriousness. I will return the money to you. Still. Are you joking? What are you returning with? Kid, do you know how much it costs to start this thing once? Patting the therapeutic device beside him, Su Xian stared at David and said. This top-notch therapeutic device can cure 98% of the body's injuries. Every time it is activated, it will deeply heal the body. The loss of treatment solution and nanomachines is conservatively estimated to be 200,000 yuan. Coupled with the scarcity of quantity and difficulty in obtaining purchasing qualifications, the cost of starting at once should be around 500,000 yuan. Chi Wei's eyes were emitting blue light as she looked up information. The words uttered under her face armor were numbers that made David despair. Five, five hundred thousand. David stuttered and repeated the number, feeling dizzy and as if he was about to faint to the ground the next second. Oh, the arithmetic is good. Surprisingly, I glanced at Chi Wei and didn't expect that this guy was quite good at playing and cooperating. I thought saying this would diminish my liking, but I didn't expect someone to help me with the support. Actually, you can't help it either. Do you know how much man and his team have earned this time? Relying on the therapeutic device, Su Xian casually said as he picked up the kitten running over. How much? David's eyes lit up when he heard that there was still a chance. 5000000 Su Xian spat out a number in his mouth. It's 500,000 again. David today is a bit allergic to this number, but he quickly regained his composure and calculated in his heart that man and his team have six people. If 500000 is divided equally, each person can earn over 80,000. If every harvest can maintain this level, earning 500,000 seems to not take long. I need people to do things for me. You have talent, and I want you to install prosthetics and become a cyberpunk. I will give you the highest level of righteousness and weapons, and you, I want you to become the king of the night city. Su Xian looked down at David's eyes and said slowly. Small knowledge. Pneumatic injectors are an emergency medical device that can treat various human injuries and can also be used as stimulants. Chapter 9 Swanstein You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, the king of the city, me David looked at Su Xian in shock and asked with suspicion. Why? Yeah, why do you do this? He's just an ordinary student, but now he suddenly says he wants to become the king of the city, which is like pointing at a frog and asking him to become a prince. Why? No why, because I want to. Su Xian chuckled lightly, but his tone was undoubtedly domineering. Although it was just a person standing by the window, for a moment they seemed to see a towering king sitting on his throne, solemnly announcing orders. Are you joking? If you want to become the king of the night city, just rely on this kid and your mouth. Su Xian didn't reply, but man felt a sense of contempt and disdain for no reason, so his voice became increasingly heavy. Of course, having money can become the upper echelon of the night city, but further up, having money alone is not enough, as it is an area monopolized by companies. So what? Su Xian had a calm and indifferent expression on his face, as if the company was just in his hands as long as he wanted it, and the fact was indeed so. You don't need to rush to refute me, time will prove everything. Now, what I want to inform you is that your next order belongs to David. Ah! Man was taken aback at the words, and then a wave of anger surged in his heart. He suddenly stood up and walked toward Su Xian, whose two-meter-tall figure was particularly intimidating. Su Xian was completely shrouded in his shadow. Why? Man's face was full of anger. 
he didn't ask Su Xian how he knew about the task commission. With his method of easily bypassing two hackers and invading his team's communication, it was easy to listen to his own phone calls. However, what made him angry was, why did he give up on something that belonged to him because of Su Xian's one sentence? Who did he think he was? Just because I can cure your cybermania. Su Xian looked at man calmly, with no fear in his eyes towards this big guy, only knowing and fully in control. How do you know? What are you talking nonsense about? Who do you think has cyber psychiatry? In the middle of speaking, man changed his direction and clapped his palms, causing a storm. Are you serious? Before man could continue to brag, Dorio couldn't help but ask Su Xian a question, her eyes full of eagerness. Her lover, whom she spent time with, had such obvious abnormalities in her body. How could she not know? Big guy, are you really suffering from cyber psychiatry? As soon as Rebecca saw Dorio's appearance, she knew that this matter was closely related. She immediately looked at man with concern. Although little Loli was usually irritable and careless, she still cared about her companions. Pila and Chiwei also looked at man with concern, while Lucy calmly lit a cigarette. She had just joined man's team and had no feelings for him. Seeing everyone's worried gaze, man wanted to forcefully deny this matter, but obviously, it was not easy to get over it. Don't worry, I'm not that easy to fall down, and besides, why do you believe that you can treat me? Man's spear turned and aimed at Su Xian again. Regarding this, Su Xian didn't even bother to lift his eyelids and said expressionlessly. Believe it or not, don't believe it. You can go out and find an empty sewer and go crazy, but this task belongs to David. I need him to use it to build his reputation. Man saw that Su Xian was about to get angry with his arrogant attitude when he was stopped by Dorio. Both of his arms were grabbed by Pila and Rebecca, and Dorio came forward to negotiate with Su Xian. Can you really treat cyber psychiatry? Of course, I just fixed one a few days ago, right at the company square. You should be able to find it. Dorio's gaze turned to Chiwei, who nodded after a brief inquiry. Three days ago, there were indeed unidentified individuals who appeared in the cyber attack under the Arizaka Tower in the company square, but disappeared after brief contact with cyber mental illness. After receiving the affirmation, Dorio felt very calm and couldn't wait to say. The commission belongs to you, on the condition that you treat man's cybermania. Su Xian nodded, it was appropriate. I have one more condition. What conditions, you say, as long as we can do it, we can do it. Dorio knew it wasn't that easy, and the technology for treating cyber psychiatry hasn't been developed yet. You can imagine the difficulty involved, just giving up a commission. Obviously, Su Xian is going to suffer. Perhaps he was willing to suffer losses when he proposed to ask man to give up the commission, but who let this foolish young man contradict others and almost ruin the situation? I demand that you train David to become a qualified lone wolf. Obviously, training a completely new employee is a troublesome task, and Su Xian dislikes trouble, so he took advantage of the situation and pushed it out. Is that all? Dorio was taken aback by this simple request. She thought Su Xian was going to make such a rare request, at least to mess with them and as a result, all she needed was to bring a new employee. But soon, Duo Leo realized something was wrong when she searched for the book garden www.chaoshuyuan.com. David is a complete newcomer, with no modifications to his brain. To become a lone wolf, he needs to have at least one or two of the best armor on his body, right? There are also other equipment that cannot be lacking. The lone wolf needs to complete the work of a team alone, which means he needs to be proficient in hacking, technology, and melee alone. This is obviously extremely rare, but it's not impossible. Buying props, spending a lot of money on automatic hacking equipment, many aspects of needs can be replaced by buying equipment, so only a small amount of equipment needs to be cultivated that cannot be replaced. But this is not an easy task either. 
The useful hacking equipment on the market is often expensive, and each member of MAN's team has at least two to 300,000 worth of righteous equipment. This means that if you want to arm David into a qualified lone wolf, you need to spend at least five to 600,000 yuan. However, this can also be borne. Su Xian earned 500,000 yuan from this order, and Dorio and Man's savings can also add up to over 100,000 yuan. Gritting her teeth, Dorio agreed. Seeing this, Su Xian was also happy and relaxed. After thinking for a moment, he took out a spinal like prosthesis out of thin air and said to Man Put this Swanstein on David and come to me tomorrow to solve your problem. Swanstein. Upon hearing this, Man's face was shocked, and his gaze towards the object was filled with disbelief and a hint of longing. Su Xian casually threw it out, and Man quickly took a few steps to catch it, carefully holding the precious body. Small knowledge. Swanstein is a type of manipulating prosthetic device that can stimulate the wearer's nerves to accelerate their movements, manifested externally as slowing down the time flow rate, with different types of duration and deceleration efficiency. Chapter 10 The Old Captain You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, Swanstein. The eyes of the rest of the crowd couldn't help but be drawn to this symbol, only David was unaware of it. Is the artifact you are about to install impressive? Swanstein is the latest military-grade symbol, with extremely rare and precious quantities on the market. Lucy finished smoking the cigarette in her hand and took the initiative to explain to David. This kid was stunned by every word he heard. Military-grade, rare, give it to me. Seeing David's gaze towards her, Su Xian smiled and remained silent. To be honest, when it comes to talking about talent to a newly grown child, it's really embarrassing. There's a sense of guilt in deceiving innocent children. He can't say he has a lot of these things, he just randomly picks them up and cultivates them. If they fail, then find the next one. After giving David an encouraging look, Su Xian quickly sent them away. It was really hard for the clam to stop. It takes over an hour to install the Edi, and with the time to adapt, Su Xian plans to wait until evening to see David. Now, Su Xian walked up to the treatment device and tapped towards the glass screen. Gloria in the treatment solution was called out and opened her eyes. Gollum. Gloria opened her mouth and spat out a string of bubbles. Gloria, who realized she was trapped in the liquid, immediately struggled in panic. However, soon after choking on the treatment solution several times, she was surprised to find that she could breathe inside. Gollum. Gloria widened her beautiful eyes and met Su Xian through the healing liquid, her eyes filled with thick doubts and confusion. She can't speak, but she can hear the voices outside. Soak it, the treatment solution is very expensive, don't waste it, it will come out later tonight. Su Xian said to Gloria in the treatment device. In fact, Gloria's injury is not severe. It can be cured by spending some money at any hospital. However, in order to make David owe him a big favor, a treatment device was developed. It's also because he has no idea how much money he has. He threw too much money at David, allowing this kid to have the money to take Gloria to the hospital for treatment. Otherwise, as long as he is forced to sell his property by the hospital's payment form, the divine weapon will descend and the same effect can be achieved. The future path will be difficult to follow, and he must cultivate enough support in order to achieve great success. But now, you can still enjoy it appropriately in your leisure time. Opening a cat strip, the little one tempted by the fragrance crawled out of the sofa and jumped onto Su Xian's lap, his nose arching and sniffing. While feeding the cat, Su Xian connected the phone of some intermediary. Who? A brief question came from the other end of the phone, and the other person cautiously lowered their voice, not revealing their voice in front of strangers. Falco gave me a call. Oh, what do you need? Upon hearing the name of an acquaintance, the other party immediately understood Su Xian's purpose. 
Su Xian didn't hide anything and said directly. Can I apply for a household registration for my pet? Did you do it when the company's car was attacked? Recently, intermediaries and mercenaries in the valley area have been very sensitive to the term pet. The company's transport vehicle has been attacked and they are frantically searching for the culprit. Those animal helpers have already raised their braids, and this intermediary dare not take on this hot potato. After hesitating for a moment, he gave up betraying Su Xian and dared to find someone to register his pet's household at this time. He was either a lunatic or a strong person. No matter which one it is, he doesn't want to provoke. Go find the captain, I can't handle this order. After the intermediary pushed Su Xian a phone number, he hung up and left, and then dialed back, which was already an empty number. Shrugging his shoulders, he casually threw the fed cat strips onto the ground. While the sweeper was running over to clean, the little one jumped up and curiously scratched the robot's head, wandering around. Hello, Captain. It's me, which one of you? In a nonchalant tone, it seems that this person has a bit of a temper, or perhaps Su Xian happened to disturb someone else's good things. Do you want to do a big business or not? Oh. Big business, let's talk more about it. The originally calm tone suddenly became affectionate, revealing a strong businessman's materialistic nature. I have a cat here and I need to apply for a household registration. Can I apply for it? Money is not a problem. The old captain on the other end of the phone quickly realized that he was the one responsible for today's robbery, but he didn't speak up and said somewhat awkwardly. That company is looking for it like it's crazy now. I'm afraid it's a bit difficult at this time. Why don't we wait for a while? Su Xia lay down on the sofa, her legs pried onto the coffee table, and slowly said, shaving her nails. The matter needs to be done now. Once it's done, I can add an extra 200,000 yuan. In fact, Su Xian can handle household registration himself, but the trouble is how to make the pet file manager shut up and assume that there is suddenly an extra cat. In the night city, it doesn't matter if a person suddenly appears. Looking for Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, but suddenly a cat appears is too I dot catching. This little guy can be of great use in the future and must have a legal identity. Sigh. All right, all right, we'll do it right away. Don't worry, boss. This matter will definitely be handled beautifully. It has been proven that having money is always a big deal, and the once difficult job suddenly becomes a good one under the money attack. After the captain made a promise to complete it within three days, Su Xian began to ponder where to dig, ah no, it was recruiting talent. He is planning to establish a gaming company, but currently there are no office buildings or technical personnel. Although there is sufficient money as a backing, it is somewhat difficult for technical personnel. Most of the talents are monopolized by the company, while the rest in the private sector are wild talents who can work alone. However, if they gather together, they are only one plus one and less than two. Everyone has their own way, and mixing together will only drag each other down, making it impossible to integrate. Perhaps we can go to the Indian Empire to have a wave. As the most populous country, what is not lacking there is talent, and the rulers there do not care about talent loss. They can definitely go there to dig up the main force. The people there are best at finding the wire they need in a tangled mess. If there are people there who are responsible for the main direction, it may be possible. After writing this down in the notebook, Su Xian began to wait quietly little knowledge. Intermediaries are intermediaries in the night city. As intermediaries between mercenaries and clients, they often take on illegal contracts, such as burglary, assassination, kidnapping, trafficking, and any other illegal behavior that you can imagine. The relationship they introduce is chargeable, they serve as a bridge between clients and mercenaries, smugglers, organizers, and intelligence traffickers on the streets of the post-war world in the future. 